everyone and welcome to this general hospital reaction. Misha just say hi and then say bye. Bye. Hi bye. Hi bye. Misha doesn't want to be friends. Misha doesn't want to be friends. That's fine. But I know you want to be friends. So welcome to this general hospital reaction. Today was a pretty good day on general hospital. I think I have things in a pretty good order. So let's get right down to it. Yay. Okay. Um, so Anna has another mission for our favorite undercover cop, Jordan, and I am so excited. I hope, okay, so since Jordan is, like, technically officially fired uh, from her official mission, I can't remember if it's, like, from the DA as a whole or whatever, but I hope Jordan, like, once it's out, like, she's just a cop at the PCPD, and her and Anna, like, investigate stuff, and it's just gonna be so cool, and that's all I really want for Christmas, so there you go. <laughs> um, let's just start out by saying, tis the season of attractive men in scarves, and tis the season of attractive men in turtlenecks. It's, I love winter. I love winter. It's seriously the best. I love winter. Um, but anyway, uh, to the more pressing matters, Rick is in the trunk. Nice. And Ju uh, Julian is kind of trying to still be a stand-up guy with not wanting to kill Rick, but I don't know if he's going to be able to weasel his way out of it if Sunny doesn't comply. And on that note... The plan is for Sean to find where Rick is and abduct him so that Sonny doesn't have to give up his territory and Rick doesn't die because Sonny doesn't want a death, another death on his conscience, you know, instead of just saying, he's my brother and, like, I don't want him dead because he means stuff to people. I don't know, an unselfish reason for someone to not want someone to die? Whatever. Uh, so... Uh, Sean and Duke and Julian and Carlos have a meeting at the Metrocore. I just spoke all out of the side of my mouth and it hurt. Like, it actually hurt. But anyway, uh, Julian kind of has the feeling it's too good to be true because, uh, there's no bloodshed. And usually when territory is being, like, bought over, there's, I don't know, bloodshed. But there's no bloodshed, and Julian isn't giving Rick up that easy, and then Jordan walks in, and she's like, bring me in the loop. What did I miss? And I'm like, I missed you, Jordan, even though you were on my screen like five minutes ago. I missed you. <laughs> so... Uh, let's switch gears, and now we're at the hospital. Uh, Nathan still cares about Nina, of course. I mean, he's just such a good person. He's a better person than I am. I think he's a better person than, like, 50%, maybe 60% of people in general. Uh, because he's a better person than I am. <laughs> um, and... You know, Alexis doesn't have to get her free out into the world, but at least in a competent, a competent, competent psychiatric facility, you know, not just one that throws you in a padded, pow, powdered, padded room and injects meds in you, like, I don't know, one that actually does you good, is that a sentence, um, whew, let me go on for a second, we got arguably, arguably the best line of the year, coming from Nathan, which was, I'm a detective, it's my job to detect. Thanks for clearing that up, Nathan. I was looking for the, like, perfect way to describe a detective, and that's what I'm going to use from now on, because I, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> so, in a different part of the hospital, Jason is actually seeking help from Patrick to figure out if he, or to find out if he could possibly be getting memories that, or present-day memory loss. That's the best way to put it. Um... Although, as soon as a psychiatrist comes, or a psychologist, I don't know what he is. Can he prescribe medicine? Can Kevin prescribe medicine? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, to talk to Dr. Collins, and then Jason slash Jake is like, haha, no. And I'm like, haha, yes, but haha, no one. And, uh, and then they kind of do a shout out for Toys for Tots, so I'll do one too. Shout out to Toys for Tots. Alright. Um... Now, Nina kind of blames Franco, uh, that she just kind of loses her will and whatever, and, uh, 
you know, she actually isn't delusional for once because she knows these charges are serious and that it's, like, not going to happen. Oh, I thought Misha just got, like, super tall, but she's on a shelf. So it's not that she suddenly grew, like, four feet. It's that she's on a shelf. Okay. Um, you know, she knows these charges are bad, but Franco tells Nina that everything's going to be okay. And then Alexa shows up. And then Nina was like, I have a condition if you're going to have the privilege of representing me. That's that's what I heard. I know that's not what she said. She's like, you have to represent Franco too. And at that point, if I was Alexa, I'd be like, well, I tried. I did what I told your brother I would do. I tried. I'm out. And just leave her. But according to the promo, Alexis, again, better person than I am. I swear, like, I'm nice to people in real life. I promise I really am. But when it comes to fictional characters, I will write you off, okay? I will. Uh, if you're a fictional character, I, I have no mercy for you, sir or ma'am or in between or none of the above. I, I don't care. Anyway, <laughs> um... So, at the penthouse, can you tell that I've been, like, putting this off? You know, Elizabeth grows so much as a character, and then in one episode, they pull her back to three years ago. They just pull her back. Just when you thought she was a character you could enjoy, they pull her back. At this point, I will say, if you are a fan of Elizabeth... You should just watch this now. I hope I stop watching this now. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow for more Drummer Hospital. If you are uh, more of a fan of Sam, uh, probably safer for you to continue watching. I promise I'm not trying to Elizabeth bash, but she just made me really upset. So, although, okay, so just just see where this is, okay? Just, 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 okay. Um, oh, Thomas Sanders posted a divine. So... Eliz one second. Someone got her foot stuck. Okay. Um, let's see, where were we, Misha? So, Elizabeth, why okay, go go be a Misha over there. Why do you have to be so petty? Why? Why do you have to be so petty? Like <sighs> Um Like seriously, you don't even know Jake. Like you've known him for a few weeks and he doesn't even know himself. Like he doesn't even know himself. Like, if you're like, look, I'm like 99% sure he didn't do this, but, you know, I don't know him thoroughly. I haven't known him my whole life, as far as I know, and he doesn't know himself, so I guess anything's possible. No, she's just straight up defensive about it. And, um, like, Sam totally calls it that Elizabeth is falling for him. Although you can't you can't blame her. I will give Elizabeth credit where credit's due. Have you seen Jake? Okay? And he's a sweetheart, so you really can't blame her. But at the same time, okay. So I know Sam's done deplorable things. I know that. I am recognizing that. You don't need to like attack me in the comments for it. I recognize that. Um but Sam was seriously kind of serving Liz. I mean, at least up until that whole you watch Jake get kidnapped thing. Um, but Elizabeth is like so, she acts so holier than thou. And she, she's not. She's a flawed human being. So if she's, I'll concede to she's on the same level as Sam. But she acts like she's not until she gets called out on it. Okay, that, I, think, I think that's the most diplomatic thing I could say. Like, really. Um... And, but then when Sam says, Jake is no Jason, I'm like, you literally couldn't be more wrong. Like, that statement is literally the opposite of correct. Like, it is the extreme opposite of correct. And then Elizabeth, again, <laughs> it, like, just when I was easing up, okay, when she's walking out there, she's like, you better stop or we'll sue for harassment. We'll? We'll sue for harassment? The two people who have nothing jointly to in common besides he's living in your house and could be your tenant at like most um he would have to sue for harassment and I'm pretty sure you have to have a social security number or something to sue and he doesn't know who he is but logistics aside telling someone that your legitimate suspicions isn't harassment it's not like Sam's going up to him everywhere he goes and going you did this to me you did this they met 
at the Metro Court, which is where she had the idea, and again, she didn't confront him right there. He actually came up to her at the police station to talk about it, and they haven't had any interaction since, so I don't see how Sam is harassing him. If anything, it'd be defamation of character, so Elizabeth, if you don't know what you're going to talk about, then don't talk about it. Whew, that got legally, right? I got into some legalese. It's not like, I'm glad I can use my legal terminology for good use. Anyway, <coughs> tell me what you think. Do you, look, whether you like Elizabeth or not, and if you're still watching, <laughs> um, do you agree that in this episode, at least, they kind of pulled her character development back? Like, you can love her as much as the moon and stars, but, like, do you still believe that? Like, being critical of a character doesn't mean you necessarily don't like them. I try to give all the characters equal standing because, like, I I'm not, like, emotionally invested, like, them over them. Like, you know me. I'll I'll change, like, the the water change like the water. You know, you put it in a different container. Okay, now I'm just talking. I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital. It's a Friday. It's going to be a doozy of a Friday. I hope you get all your holiday shopping done. Oh, and happy second day of Hanukkah. Anyone out there that celebrates Hanukkah? And I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital. Bye!